This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. So I'm going to talk about some hunter valves. So this is a very popular hunter valve. As you can see, there's a little arrow right here on it. So that means the water is flowing out this way. Solenoids on the downstream side. Okay, very popular valve. You can see the arrow coming in. Now on this cutaway, my finger, if I had a brand new valve and I want to say, hey, is it forward flow or reverse flow? Okay, so this is, I put my finger in, I can touch the diaphragm. So the water goes up the center, pressurizes the upper part of the bonnet, and then when the solenoid opens up or the bleed screw, then it takes the water up off of the upper part of the body. So all I gotta do is turn this where, as you can see here, it says manual on or off. I open this, it lifts the plunger, which this is the plunger right here. It lifts it off and then it makes the valve open. It drops down, comes down back down here and the valve is open. I turn this and it shuts it off. I turn this, it opens it. So that's the open manual open and close. And then there's a bleed screw here. This is your throttle handle and this is your diaphragm. Very popular valve, very nice. So as you can see, I have two red leads here. So this means that this solenoid is 24 volts. Okay, so you have your hunter clock, you come down, it has 24 volts coming this way on it. The hunter clock gives it 24 volts, it opens up, lifts the plunger inside, the valve comes on automatically. Okay, now this is a nice cutaway. Here's the same valve, but now I have a black and a red wire. And what that means is that you could take a hunter battery operated unit and stick it right on here, and this is a DC solenoid. Okay, so same. Same figuration here, normally open, I mean normally closed valve, opens up, I can touch the diaphragm, forward flow, battery operated clock, a little eye bock, a little eye node I think it's called, and um, you'd be able to have it. The arrow's right here going out on it, so it's real simple, real easy. Great valve, great hunter valve on it, great diaphragm as you can see here, molded, double beaded, very good. Hunter makes some of the best product in the field today. Very well known uh, company. Excellent engineers in the field. They make great products. This solenoid manually, you can see it here, it says norm open or close. So all I've got to do is turn this like that. Boom. The water internally bleeds in the inside, opening the valve and the water comes down. Does not fill up the valve box full of water. So you don't have to worry about it. This is an internal bleed solenoid. So all I gotta do is turn it, it opens up, shut it off, close it right here. So if I'm over and I've done some fertilization over on my rose bushes in the corner or worked on something, I go, oh wow, I don't wanna walk all the way back to my clock. All I've gotta do is turn it like this, it lifts up the plunger, it manually comes on. And then I'm finished, I just wanted to get a little douse of water because the plants were a little thirsty there because I had to put some fertilizer or mulch inside there. Now I put my battery operated unit on here, it works great, it opens it up, I don't need electricity on it. So anything that has a red and a black wire, it doesn't matter what kind of valve it has, if it has the black and the red, and if it's Hunter, Rainbird, Toro, anybody's Hydro Rain, Griswold, anything like that, DC latching solenoids work on battery operated units. But this is the Hunter valve, forward flow, great valve, great price on it. You need to get some of these in the field, easy to replace. Just take the two screws off, captured uh, screws on it so you won't have to have them dropping out into the water or anything else. They're very easy to work with, awesome valve in the field. Make sure that you purchase these valves out in the field, you'll get years and years of activity. So thank you.